Well, good morning, Cornerstone Church. Day 14 of praying and fasting together uh, as a church, as we prepare our hearts for the vote on the building expansion project, whether we move forward or not with what has been proposed. And that vote will take place now, not tomorrow night, but on Sunday night, October the 6th at 6 p.m. Stephen and I talked a couple times yesterday and late yesterday afternoon, if you didn't catch the email, uh, we decided to push back uh, the date of the vote to give you a little bit more time uh, to submit your questions and for us to answer uh, those questions. Since the Q&A on Sunday night, uh, which was a great, great time of answering a ton of questions. We answered questions for about two hours that night. Uh, there hasn't been a whole lot of questions come in, honestly. Um, and there have been three individuals who have come to us with additional questions, good questions, um, that we feel like are, are worth answering. Uh, but two of the individuals that came to us indicated that uh, their questions are coming from not just them, but from more people in in the church. And so we're trusting that. We're trusting that um, those are questions that represent some population uh, of our church that, that needs those questions answered. would like to have those questions answered. And so that's okay. Um, and, and we're going to shoot a video and answer those questions uh, sometime next weekend because we want to give you uh, another couple of days to submit any questions you have. So please, if you have questions, come to us. Um, we would love to receive your questions. We'll hear them and then we're going to answer them in that video uh, that we hope to send out probably next weekend, which will give you two weeks to watch that video and then um, make your best decision as you seek the Lord in prayer, longer prayer, not just 14 days. We'll pray for 21 more days um, and seek the Lord in prayer. And, um, to seek his wisdom on what we are to do. Regardless, you know, of the decision on this church building, our purpose and our mission is the same, building or not. I mean, we are called as a church to spread the good news of a creator God who loves his rebellious people so much that he himself would come to this earth in the flesh in the person of Jesus, live the sinless life on our behalf, and then die on a cross as our substitute so that we might be forgiven of our sin and reconciled to God with the hope of eternal life. Every single one of us has this God-given purpose on this earth. The reason that God does not like save us and then just immediately usher us up into heaven uh, when he saves us to be with him forever but chooses rather to leave us in this broken world full of sin still in our flesh and suffering and death and pain and tears. And, and the reason he does that, the reason he leaves us here is because we have work to do. We are called to be ambassadors of the king. We're called to be witnesses of the gospel. We are the sent ones sent by Jesus into this world to share the good news. The question is not whether or not we have a purpose, but whether or not we as God's church will seize the moment right here, right now in our day. Acts 17, 26 says, and he, he being God, made from, from one man every nation of mankind to live on the face of the earth, having determined a lot of periods and the boundaries of their dwelling place. So he's determined the time period in which we would live, the place in which we would live, that they, they being the lost, should seek God and perhaps, perhaps feel their way toward him and find him. I believe this with all my heart. God has placed you right here, right now, for a reason. It is no accident that at least in this period of time, you live in Southeast Texas. I mean, we're coming to Cornerstone from all over the area, from Needle and Port Neches, Bridge City, Beaumont, Port Arthur. And it's no, no accident that we're here living in the 21st century. It's no accident that you are part of the body 
of Cornerstone Church, building or not, who cares about the building when we're talking about this? Building or not, this is our moment. This is our moment, church. Josh Patterson of The Village, he often says, we were made for the day and the day was made for us. And so we're just going to pray together today that we would go after that together. Let us forsake worldly pleasures and goods, deny ourselves and pick up our cross and follow after Jesus, come what may. Come what may. Let's pray. Father, we trust that you have placed us here for a purpose. It is no accident that we live where we live, we work where we work, we play where we play, we have the relationships that we do, the people that live by us. It's no accident. You are purposing all of this so that there might be people that would seek you and find you. And if there are lost people around us, they are not too far gone because you have placed a gospel witness right next to them. Lord, we believe that the building might be a helpful tool for us to create space, reach more people, and then to see these kids raised up, discipled, lead the next generation, give us a long-term location to do ministry from in in this area. But um, Lord, building or not, the mission is the same. The purpose is the same. God, every single one of us are called. If we know Jesus, we're called to this purpose. We are called to spread the good news of Jesus. We're called to love and serve our neighbors as ourselves. We're called to live generous, hospitable, sacrificial lives. And so God, I pray that you would help us to do that. Help us to create margin for that. Give us conviction regarding this. Give us boldness. God, help us to get eternal vision um, that makes us want to just change kind of our day-to-day and how we're prioritizing things in the here and now. Lord, we believe that you have made the day and the day was made for us. And so we're here and we have a calling and a purpose. Help us to fulfill that calling in this day and age. We love you. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You know, I love you, church. Uh, I'm excited for what God's going to do over the next three weeks um, to just continue to grow our unity and clarity in regards to what God wants to do. Building or not, come what may. Uh, We are here for Christ. We're living for Him. We're in really, really good hands. So I love you, church. Have a great day. Um, Be blessed today. Get some time with Jesus. Enjoy the Saturday. Rest in him. He's really, really good. Um, Love you. See you tomorrow.